In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to apply an inline and then how to edit that inline to some text or objects that we've got selected. So to begin with, I'll go to page 2 here and I'll just type in some text just to use as an example. So I'll just type in the word effects there. I'll make that a little bit bigger. Go so and I'll put it in the centre of the page. I'll give it some colour. And I want to apply an inline effect to this, uh, this text here. So I can select the text like this. I come over to our vector flyout tool here and I'm interested in this inline here. And I'll click on that and you can see it's applied this effect to this text here. I'm presented with some tools down the bottom. I can hide my effects or bring them back. I can lock my effects in case I want to work on some objects with effects but I don't want to select those effects. And if I click off the object and click back on it, I'm then presented with this tool here which is the um, outline tool. And when I click on that it selects the, uh, the object. Now it's important to understand that Inline and outline are used interchangeably. They're the same thing, one goes in, one goes out, so we use the same tools. And we've got this toggle up here. So we can toggle between inline and outline by using this tool here. Now as always in Vinyl Master, when you've got an object selected in a particular mode, such as we have here, uh, in the second row of tools you'll see all the tools relevant to what we have selected and what mode we're in. So up here we've got an offset, we've got an inset, we have an outline colour, and we have an outline style. I'm going to zoom into the here just to show you better what we're doing. And we can see here that we've got this inline effect coming in around this text here. And we can now edit this by simply clicking on this tool here to select the, uh, the item. And you can see we've got these on-screen uh, controls here, which we can use on the um, directly by clicking on these nodes and moving them around. And you can see we can change the, the very, well, change the complete look of this inline effect. So I'll select the inline effect and I'll show you how to edit it numerically by coming up here. So if I click on this tool here, I can adjust the inline offset and I can also adjust the inline inset. That's the distances between these two and the edge of the, uh, the object as you can see. So by adjusting this up and down, I can effectively change the way the inline works in the object there. If I set the inset to say zero, like that, and I increase the offset, you can see eventually that entire inline there consumes the entire text as you can see. And I can then bring that back and I can apply an inset. And as, as I apply that inset I get different uh, effects as you can see as we go through. So by combining these percentages you can change the, uh, the look of our inline quite substantially from one to another. The other thing we can do is change the colour so if I make this say yellow, you can clearly see that's much more a much brighter effect there like that. And as I adjust these amounts, we can get quite stark different effects, or starkly different effects I should say. So that's how those tools work. We've also got the, uh, the outline style, which is you know, the, the difference between making things round and smooth. You can see this rounds this all up in here. Um, and if I make it mitered, it mitres these corners out because it's as it uh, inlines around these corners we can change these these shapes as you can see. So we have all these tools up here to manipulate the look of the inline and we can set exactly where we want it to be and what distances we want to offset things and we can then also use these on-screen on -screen controllers or the gizmos we call them and that's the way inline works. And that's the end of this lesson.